serial killer Paul Stephen Hay, Victoria, Australia, responsible for worst combination of murders, Supreme Court hears. December 5, 2012 in his final submissions during Hay's application for a minimum term for six horrific murders he committed in the late 1970s, Prosecutor Peter Rose, South Carolina, described the shocking string of murders as premeditated, cold-blooded, and vile. He said they had been committed by a remorseless man who to this day blames his victims and abuses drugs in jail. Mr. Rose said Hayes' murders were not only planned but some involved, particularly degrading acts. These are just so horrible, that life without parole is the appropriate sentence, Mr. Rose told Justice David Beach. Hay was convicted of murdering his girlfriend of three weeks Lisa Brearley, 19, after allowing another man to rape her. Reciting from descriptions written by the killer himself, Mr. Rose said Hay allowed the other man to rape Ms. Brearley so his DNA would be connected to the crime and therefore ensure his silence about the murder. Hay who also had sexual contact with Ms. Brearley knowing he was soon to kill her for fear she would talk to police about certain weapons, stabbed the young woman 157 times, later writing that, I only intended to do 20 but I lost count. Lisa became a loose end, Hay wrote. Hay shot dead tax lotto agency worker Evelyn Abrahams. Mr. Rose said Hay blamed Ms. Abrahams for the shooting because she provoked him and was disobedient by resisting, instead of allowing his armed robbery to go its ugly way. Hay killed pizza shop owner Bruno Singolani by shooting him with a sawn-off shotgun at point-blank range. Mr. Rose said the motive for that planned robbery was to help finance a prisoner's escape and that Mr. Singolani was killed because he tried to protect his takings for his family's sake. He shot dead mother Cheryl Gardner to keep her quiet, along with her 10-year-old son Danny Mitchell who was with her at the time. He wrote that while it was against the criminal code to shoot children, Ms. Gardner was a bad mother for putting the boy in the terrible situation of being a witness. Danny being present complicated matters greatly, Hay wrote. Hay said he, consoled the sobbing boy before shooting him three times in the back of the head. Hay also shot associate Wayne Smith so that, in his words, he, wouldn't look weak in the eyes of accomplices during today's hearing. Psychiatrist Dr. Yvonne Skinner said he did not have the capacity to feel empathy on an emotional level and would be a moderate to high risk of reoffending if he was ever released. Dr. Skinner said she believed he, now 54, did not have a mental illness but suffered from a personality disorder with multiple different features. When asked by Mr. Rose if he shunned responsibility for his crimes, Dr. Skinner said, I think he deals with it by laying the blame on other people or factors. The court heard Hay, said to have an addictive behavior, has been regularly using illicit drugs in jail, but had tried to seek help. Under cross-examination by Hay, Dr. Skinner said impulsive tendencies were not a major characteristic of his personality and that his actions were planned and carefully considered.